Following a terrible story this morning, a gunman appears to have targeted the house of a U.S. District Court judge, a federal judge. Um, her name is Judge Esther Salas. Her son answered the door. Um, the gunman apparently dressed up as a package delivery man, and the son was shot and killed. Her husband was also shot and is in critical condition, so an awful situation here. And Sagar, one of the things that, that people have been looking at is, you know, potential Potential motive, and this is all completely speculative at this point. Yes. And by the way, her husband is also a criminal defense attorney, right. so could have been a target as well. Um, but she's been involved in a number of high-profile cases, including one involving the Real Wives of mm -hmm. Real Housewives yeah. of New Jersey. But four days ago was assigned a pretty pretty critical case regarding link to Jeffrey Epstein and that Deutsche Bank right. case that we've been talking about here. So this case is involving Deutsche Bank investors who are suing the bank as a result of some of the Deutsche Bank reporting that I got brought you guys earlier about how they did a lot of business with Jeffrey Epstein despite the fact that they knew he was likely victimizing young girls. They knew he was using his accounts in order to fund his sex trafficking ring and many of his illegal various business exploits. He was committing a litany of financial crimes and they didn't care, right? And so the federal government just fined, or the New York State uh, Department of Financial Services just fined them $150 million for their uh, complicity with Epstein. Investors who read that report sued them, being like, hey, all this anti-money laundering stuff that you said you were doing is complete BS combined with some reports about their dealings, um, and uh, again, on money laundering with a Russian bank. So again, this case was assigned to the judge only four days ago. Now this is happening. We don't know what the conjecture or much of this is. It's received a lot of scrutiny online, and I think it should receive a lot of scrutiny yeah. online. Because no matter what this is, and we won't drop it, if it has nothing to do with Epstein, judicial assassination is the sign of a dying republic, right? Like, if you go and you look at, you know, some of the most unstable places across the globe, when the judges who get when the judges get killed for delivering criminal uh, justice against criminals, then you live in a kleptocracy and in a fake regime, yeah. essentially. So uh, this is a terrible, terrible development. It happens. should be looked at as an attack yeah. on our system of justice. And it is. And, yeah. and look, we, yeah. you know, are certainly critical here yeah. of the way that, that that justice is applied and the unequal ways that's applied within this country, but you're absolutely right. When a federal judge's home is targeted, that is an incredibly ugly and scary um, turn of events yeah. here in this nation. That's right. But at the same time, you know, talking about Epstein, obviously Prince Andrew uh, has been in hiding. And this is a particularly funny development, which is that Prince Andrew's, his daughter Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, got married over the weekend. The royal family, re they released photos of that wedding, and you can see they did not include the father of the bride in the photos. They released a photo of including the queen and of the married couple. Apparently, Prince Andrew even walked his daughter down the aisle, but they are so afraid of putting out and publicizing him in the public eye because of his dealings with Epstein that he's not even appearing in his own daughter's wedding photos wow. that were put out publicly, which is pretty remarkable and goes to show how bad the royal family wants to continue to cover up the Epstein connection. Why was Ghislaine Maxwell sitting on the throne, the British throne, during a private tour with Prince Andrew. And all of the things that he's done with Epstein and with Maxwell over the years, pretty remarkable. I'm sure it's just an innocent oversight, oh, Sagar. Yeah, that's all right. it yeah. is. So. I, they just forgot to release a photo. Who, 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 who among us doesn't put out a photo of Father of the Bride? I mean, who among us? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. an <laughs> e easy mistake to make. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty wild. All right, more rising for you after this.